Hi everyone, um, here we are on our 11th day and uh, as we, we keep working hard and, and we're really pushing ourselves, we get a little bit down on the energy, um, but never fear, we have a wonderful um, uh, morning wake up call that just started today, it was uh, very exciting. and. Um, since uh, it's my last day, I'm hosting the show today instead of just doing the recap. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about what we did today after our crazy morning wake up. Uh, we had this great, awesome workshop where we talked about um, stereotypes and prejudice, which is really important, and it's um, one of the one of our top goals is to uh, unify and um, promote acceptance, tolerance, and understanding. And so, when we talked about these stereotypes and breaking down these stereotypes, it was um, really educational for all of us to talk about the differences between cultures and um, just we talked about how to be human beings together in this world and it was uh, it was it was a great experience how are you um, I'm very fine that's good to hear I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about uh, the workshop that we had today about breaking stereotypes the workshop today of Martina is very good uh, we had told about uh, discrimination and um, we had we had discussed too much about it um, I think it's it's not a big problem for us because we are in uh, we are in a a lot and uh, it's also we are family. Yeah, it, uh, it was really um, important because um, we uh, really a lot of us feel something uh, sometimes um, a lot of bad uh, feelings about uh, other countries and we need to break this. Yeah, the workshop was uh, very good for me. I, I liked it a lot. To, the topic breaking stereotypes is very important, I think. Maybe for our group it is not that big problem, but it is uh, very interesting to uh, charge our ideas and yeah, to talk about this topic. All right, and um, how about our breaking stereotypes workshop? Oh, it, it was a nice experience because um, still... In most people, they have misunderstood. They have a lot of thought about people. And it's not really nice to thought of something. You must first experience it. I think it's a good idea. It's not nice to thought. Well, I, well it's good for me because I learned something that I never knew before because actually... I didn't know that Polish people are famous for stealing, really, but <laughs> but now I know it wasn't true. Yeah, they are very nice people and never steal anything. <laughs> I, I, I didn't find very, I, I, I don't know. In Brazil, we've got so mixing of cultures and everything. Uh, uh, you, you'll find... Uh, Chinese and Japanese and Italians and Germans and Africans and Brazilian natives and Europeans descendants from uh, people from all around the world in, in, in the streets of Brazil and, and I live in a big city so uh, everything that were uh, told here today were more for for those countries who who has not such diversity cultural diversity. But I don't know if, if it's like that in, in America. I picture that would be 
but in, in Brazil we we are Eastwood to to the differences and and that's what I think that makes a Brazilian a really rich culture because we embrace it all the cultures from all around the world and that makes us such a uh, such a warming country because we embrace it we we like all the cultures and of course uh, when it comes to Brazil we put a little bit of Brazilian spicy with some samba and but <laughs> but I feel like that uh, and the talk here were uh, for me were, were a simple talk I, I uh, I guess we are you know, in an above level about this stereotype stuff because love it. I don't know. Well, that's good to hear about Brazil. Um, after the workshop today, we had uh, this um, Polish folk choir of women, and they were just wonderful and and just it was beautiful. And they sang for us, and they sat and they had our me the meal with us. And um, they taught us how to uh, to dance to a couple of the songs, and it was <laughs> it was fun and uh, a little bit exhausting. We were all getting kind of sweaty <laughs> not doing these dances, and um, and we also had uh, the opportunity to share with them our music. So Mapula sang, and Hazem and I sang um, for them, and they seemed to appreciate it as much as we appreciated them sharing their music with us. And finally, they sang a really, really nice goodbye song to us. And it was especially, um, it was special for me because it's a goodbye for me too, because it's my last night and I will miss everyone here very much. So let's talk to some people. <laughs> Maybe it would be better if you could tell me a little bit about the, uh, the Polish women that came and sang the songs, can you tell us like what kinds of songs they sang and uh, what, um, what the experience was for you? First of all, I want to say about food. Because the food came with women at the first... Uh, it was our first attraction, you know, and uh, the food was great. Uh, I enjoyed the, the sauce because it was so delightful i don't know how to say it because uh, the, the sauce was from made from mushrooms but it's not the usual sauce that you uh, are taking from the the bags you know from the shops that was really good <laughs> <laughs> and tasty sauce uh, with the special ingredient with love <laughs> inside okay and then about the songs uh those songs are very good for you know uh, to, for the meal to be in the stomach and listen to it and um, turn from the one side to the other and then the, uh, the meal inside is getting down, down and, uh, and it's better for our stomachs to do that. So that's what I want to say. And I want to thank you all these ladies and thank you <laughs> ladies. They are very nice and um, the fact is very, I, I, I don't know how to say it now, it's very wonderful and we have a lot of fun and laugh and uh, dance, very, very fun. Thank you, Scott. And uh, how about our meal tonight? What did you think about that? It was amazing. The women, yeah, women um, were so nice and they, the food was so delicious. And I really, really loved it, especially the cake. <laughs> I agree about that cake. <laughs> it was really good. Did you like one over the other better? No. They were both very delicious? Yeah. <laughs> and after all, the group, uh, the uh, people from the village, they were singing nice and I was so excited. They really make my day because I was kind of out of the mood. I don't know why, but after all, they really made my day. Mm. That's very good. Thank you so much. Spoko loco. <laughs> That's good. And uh, what did you think about those, um, the women that came and sang for us? Oh my God, I feel like, like they are my own grandmothers mm -hmm. and I really want to hug them. Mm -hmm. I mean, every of them, but I can only hug three of them and I feel 
kind of satisfied now. So, oh, yeah. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so can you tell me about our dinner tonight and the lovely women who came to sing for us? Yeah, or, or awesome. Uh, and it's a thing that I already said. Uh, I feel like home here. Everybody's so warming, so so happy, so so full of meal. Yes, and we love it. And and they sing. They they are all all the time happy and friendly. And I feel like home here. <laughs>